Welcome for the tutorial um, where we're going to be making 3D pictures. I put out a little um, um, video yesterday um, with a, a heads up that we were going to do this so if you wanted to follow along you could get your supplies ready. Um, if you didn't catch that video don't worry I'm going to go through what we need here. So uh where to start okay first of all i've got some white school glue i'm going to mix that with a little bit of water so it's not so thick so i've got a little container here to um to mix it in i have let's move that out of the way i have my glue gun and glue sticks and it's it's all plugged in um in my basket here i have my my little foam um, thing for paint <laughs> thing um, I have a paintbrush I have a little um, cap from a coffee jar to mix my paint in I have two different colours here um, one is a purpley blue and one is a really fun funky green and I've got some extra glue sticks should I need them those away because we don't need those to begin with. Let's pop those down there. And um, I've got some tissues. Now like I said on the on the starter video, um, you don't need napkin tissues, you can use any tissues. Um, the thicker they are, you may not get the um, the look that um, that you want. But, you know, toilet paper, um, kitchen roll, anything like that will do. But if you've got napkins, then as you know, napkins come two ply or three ply. And just take, take the backing off nice and gently. Oh, that came off easily. Um, like that. And we're going to use the backing. We're not going to use, we're not using the, the pretty side. So we can use that for decoupage later. And we need a, a picture frame. Now this picture frame is in a really poor condition. I got it in a charity shop for 50p. Um, no glass. Um, the back is, well, it's in a very poor state. And the frame is a bit yucky too. Now what I did was, can I show you, I've actually just painted this frame um, because it's going to be going on the wall and um, so you won't see the back, thankfully. Um, <laughs> so it'll just go on the wall. But this is the bit that we need, the inside back bit. That is what we're going to be working on. So put your frame bit somewhere safe. If it came with glass, make sure you, you're careful handling the glass. Can't it breaking and you cutting yourself. So to start with, get yourself comfortable, get yourself a table, and let's mix our, our glue up. So, I've got a little bit of water. Need a little bit of oh, huh. a little bit of glue. Get some screwed instead. We don't need very much. Just a, a blob. It's probably even more than we need. Um, just a little blob like that. Um, mix it with around about the the same amount of water. And we're just going to mix that into a nice watery paste. You don't want anything too thick because we need it to go through the um, through the tissue. Okay, so this is what I have, and that's just fine. It's it's kind of it's like skimmed milk, that kind of consistency. If you can imagine that if you're if you're mixing your own with me okay so I just this this piece of paper over the front here um, there was a hole in the <laughs> in the backing it doesn't matter um, what kind of state it is we can use it 
if you know if you can use something let's use it don't don't let it go to landfill um, so I just fixed it with a scrap piece of paper but like I say that that doesn't matter because um, you know you, you're not going to see it so we've got all these tissue bits that we're going to use I don't think we'll need any more but I do have some on hand just in case we need some more and we just need little tear bits you know just tear some bits off like this and what we're going to do is um, oh, let me just pull that down a little bit so you can see and get this out of the way okay can you see that bit? okay so what we're going to do is we've got our little tear bit here and i like to just kind of crumple it up a little bit and then open it up so you've got a little bit of crumple there and oh get your brush and just plonk it on this is very much um it's it's like decoupage <laughs> but it's a very um bad way of doing a decoupage if you like because <laughs> usually with decoupage you don't want the creases but in this the creases are good this is what's going to give it um, a really nice effect once um, once it's painted on so we're just going to go with our little teared pieces uh, you know crumple them up just a little bit and open them back up and it doesn't matter you know how they go on it's a very individual thing um, doesn't needs to be far from perfect as possible because when you put the paint on it that is go is what's going to give it a really great look so we're just going to keep on doing this So there we go that is is everything you need to do for the start just put that it's a very gooey gunky mess that doesn't really look like anything <laughs> and that is the start so that is your stage one okay so what I am going to do is and you can leave this to dry if you want for quickness of time for myself I am just going to go grab my hair dryer and um, Okay, it's just completely sticky to my fingers and it won't come off. Okay, I'm just going to quickly whisk the hairdryer over this as, and it should dry pretty quickly. So, this is all nice and dry now. Just whisked it with my hairdryer. Um, it does look pretty uck at the moment, but believe me, it's going to look really great once we've finished now i am doing a cat today you of course can do whatever um whatever picture you like if you need to um you know if you want to print off your picture um 
and then trace it out on here you know that's that's absolutely fine I'm just going to do it freehand um, so plug in your glue gun which mine is a little mine is a little yucky take no notice of of my uh, heat mat here which is very very gunky and needs a clean <laughs> video coming soon of how to clean your heat mat <laughs> okay so we've got the the heat gun going hopefully that's that's only going to take a couple of minutes all right so what we're going to do is we're going to can you see that we're going to draw with the with the heat gun we are going to draw the picture straight onto our backing where we've just glued the tissue paper okay so as soon as the glue gun is is hot um, and it's behaving itself then we're going to we're going to start. Really? Oh, it's starting to get hot now. Okay. Okay. So once you've got your glue coming out at a reasonable level and decide how and where you want your design and basically you just draw it onto Should be a bit more of a point at here, but never mind. My glue gun is uh, it's quite a cheapy gun, and it's not really coming out as well as it it probably could do. But get a good old amount on there now we're just going to kind of tail up this bit don't worry if you're a bit wobbly because you know this is this is your own piece of art there is nothing to say that it has to be absolutely perfect. So I'll come back up, putting some more glue there, another glue stick in. from the top again and go down a little cat's neck and make my feline a nice tubby belly there we go okay so that is the first round of of my cat um I'm not sure. Can you see? Oh, you see a little bit of a. I you can see from. Okay, well, you probably can't see very well online, but there is kind of a cat shape there. Okay, so once that's dry, which being hot glue, um, it doesn't take very long to dry. And I think we're just about there now. And going, going to go over, over the same design again. 
I'm going to go right over the top of what you've just done so that it, it stands up and this is how we do the a, a 3d effect is you just put glue on top of glue okay so let's just get a nice clean point on there and we'll just go over okay again you gotta be careful with this bit because going over the top of glue is a little tricky but it can be done if you just take your time it's nothing to say you know it, it's got to be done in so many minutes you take your time make sure you're happy with the design and how it's going the thing about hot glue is if you don't like it at this stage you could just pull it off and start again. So just gonna go carefully over the top of the glue that I've already put down. Go all the way around. Some of the glue is falling off. <laughs> um, but I'm I'm not worried about that. It's uh, it makes it unique, makes it a little um, you know it, it looks homemade. It looks how it's supposed to, you know. It's coming out the other side of the cat here. All the way back to the neck and there we have it I don't know if you can see a little better maybe or maybe not <laughs> okay maybe I should have used um, I should have used a colored a colored glue stick for this so that you could have seen better but hopefully you get the idea um, and you'll be able to to see it better when um, when I put the the paint on so there is our cat and I think she looks quite sweet okay so um, do I need another one I think I'll go one higher and you can decide this you know you yourselves here you know, look at your picture and um, you know have have a good look and see whether you want it to be deeper than um, than one or two or three you know you could just keep piling these up um, you know it doesn't matter how how tall it goes but just be careful because the higher you go the more likely it is that you know you'll get your it'll fall off <laughs> and we we don't want the glue to fall off the glue that's already there um because you know that's not going to be a, a great look but i'm just going to go over this once more because i just i just feel that my cat needs to be deeper than what it is so I'm just going to go over this bit have to do a bit more with the ears I think Oop. and down the neck uh, a nice belly here You don't need. I mean, my my glue gun is um, is is quite a, a cheap little gun. You don't need a massively expensive gun to do these these little things. I think my gun um, is about a fiver, so it doesn't cost that much if you want to get a 
a glue gun and um, you know make yourself some some pictures like this because they are good fun and you know making things like this, this something like this would be great in a nursery you know if you put your your pictures up that you've made for your for your baby um, you know you could even if you if you um, you know supervise correctly um, children could do this uh, like I say don't leave them just with the, the hot glue gun <laughs> by themselves make sure that that you are there and you know you're present all the time um, and this could be something that you know a, a you know a, a young a young teenager could do so there we have it I have three um, three layers now of the glue um, yeah you still oh well, you can see a tiny little bit but we're gonna put some paint on now so you should be able to see it we'll just let that cool off a tiny little bit just gonna unplug remember to unplug your glue gun and we'll just pop that out of the way on top of the heat mat it's just gonna go down there okay so what we need now is we need paintbrush the mixer thing for the paint the actual paint um and no we don't need that i've got that yep <laughs> i think that's about it oh and um and your dauber okay so it's just uh, my paintbrush is wet Probably a bit too wet but it's wet it's fine okay so we start off with the dark and what we're going to do is we're going to paint no we're not oh my goodness we are not going to do that at all we are going to put some more tissue over the top of the glue oh my that was almost a a fail <laughs> I, I almost forgot okay good job i didn't thank you for reminding me everybody who knows what they're doing out there in um in uh in internet land <laughs> oh okay so tiny bit more glue this is the white school glue this is just water I'm just going to water it down about the same amount again of water as what we have to glue and we're just going to uh, mix that up so it is a um, a very milky consistency you see that okay so before you paint <laughs> go again get some more um, tissue paper um, again uh, just little tiny bits and um, screw them up like this and then and then unscrew them and what we're gonna do is going to do is we're going to just lay these little bits over over what you've glued so it just covers it okay and we're going to do that all the way around the design that, that we've just drawn out with the with the glue gun so let's quickly get all these little bits so that everything is ready and you're not fiddling around so here we go 
Okay, so we've got some little bits already screwed up um, just to keep the the same texture as the as the backing. And we're just going to take our brush. Oh, we've got that bit already there, and we're just going to go straight over the top, just randomly. It doesn't have to be. Uh, it's not an exact science, you know, you just do this until you've covered the, oh, until you've covered your design and when it's, when it's actually painted um, you know, it'll look, it's all going to look the same, it's not going to, uh, you know, the glue's not going to look smooth and the background's going to look um, textured, it's, it's all going to look the same, it's all going to look, um, you know, uniformed. So, this keeps sticking to my fingers, <laughs> it's good glue. So again, I'm just using tissue paper. I'm using tissue paper from um, the back of some decoupage napkins that I've got. That, you know, if you haven't got napkins, it's fine. Toilet paper will do, kitchen roll will do. The thinner it is though, the better, but you can still get a really great look with kitchen towel. Okay, so we're just putting the tissue paper over the design that we've made with the with the glue. We're just laying the tissue paper, we've got the little bits like this, screw them up so they're a little textured and we're just getting these little bits and we're just laying them on top of the glue, of the hot glue, and we're just painting it down with um, ordinary school glue. And we're just covering, covering all the glue, all the design, with little bits of tissue. And that is all we're doing. It's really easy. Um, you know, you could get your kids to join in with this bit. They're too young to uh, to do the actual uh, design with the hot glue. They can certainly do this bit uh, with this with the white glue, the school glue, and a paintbrush. It doesn't have to be done perfect. There's nothing to say. Um, it's right or wrong it's just exactly how it goes and you know just kind of feel by ear how how it's gonna look um, as you you know as you as you carry on with it so we'll put a little bit just there so I've run out of tissue so I'm just gonna pull some more bits off my the backing here doing just getting these little bits it's easier to work with smaller amounts than it is to to work with bigger pieces that's the only reason that's the only reason we're sort of um, you know pulling them into little little pieces if you if you cut the paper rather than um, rather than tear it off, you're not going to get the same kind of a textured look that you want. You're going to have sharp edges 
um, where your where your tissue paper is, and we don't want that. We we want a very uniformed look. Um, if you tear your tissue paper, then the edges kind of get lost, if you like. Um, they they disappear. The edges disappear, um, and become a part of the design. Whereas if you've got straight cut pieces, then it's it's not going to look as as good. So just just go ahead and and tear tear the paper and uh, and it should look really great once it's it's all on and it's finished okay so I'm nearly done nearly got the whole cat covered down <laughs> that bit doesn't want to stay down I'm just I'm going down there okay like I say you can do any design that you like um, I have noticed it 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 is better if it's a simple design if it's um, a symbol or, or like this um, a, a silhouette um, if you're going for something complicated then um, you know that's great I I don't know how it would turn out you know if, if you do do something complicated um, you know I would love to see a, a picture of when you've finished um, let me know how you how you get on and how easy it was to um, um, you know to get the the glue to, to stand up on 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 top of each other but I have found simple designs are are better okay I think you can more or less see the cat now it's not looking so see-through now okay so I'm just going to let that dry for a little while. Um, I am just going to grab my hair dryer and do this. Um, you may want to, um, you may want to stop the video here and let it dry out naturally, or you know, go ahead and, and use your hair dryer too, and um, we'll join you in in a little while. Um, and this will all be dry and we'll be able to then um, do our painting okay okay so this is now dry or dry-ish I've just blasted it with the hair dryer on a cool setting and um, you can just about see the cat now just in the right kind of light but this is where the magic starts to happen. This is where we get the paint on and it, it really starts um, coming into its own. So I'm just going to, I'm just going to do that. I'm just going to angle this down again so you can see what I'm doing. Okay, so give your paint a good shake. And what I'm using here is it's just, it's a, um, it's just a, a, a cheap, um, actually very cheap, I got it for 20p, um, emulsion uh, tester pot, that's all that is. And I'm just going to put a little bit in here. I'm not mixing it or anything, I'm just using the colour as it is. Okay, so I, I've got my dobber here, I'm just going to fill that up with paint and uh, just going to start now. As you do this, you'll notice that um, it might take a little bit of effort to get the paint in between 
your design make sure that um, you know you you do get every single bit of it that you're not you know that you haven't left a piece uncovered and just uh, you know just go for it just dab it all on uh, you don't have to use a dobber you can use a, a paintbrush if you like I just like using a dobber because it's it's quick and easy and uh, and I've just got it here <laughs> so there we go Okay, so another blast of the hairdryer and the first coat of paint on the cat is all dry. Okay, like I say, I'm just doing this for quickness with a hairdryer. You either can or can't, you know, it's, it's, it's completely up to you. You can leave it to dry um, naturally if you, you know, if, if you have the time. Okay, so time for your second um your second color now your second color should be a lighter color than what you've already used because what we're going to do is we're going to dry brush it and we're going to make this stand out really 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 nicely okay so i'm just gonna turn that over okay so again it's just really cheap again 20p <laughs> <laughs> See if you can find your bargains. These were in um, these were in B and Q, just selling them off. Um, you know, really cheap for twenty p. So I grabbed them. If you can get your bargains, get them. There's there's nothing worse than spending an absolute fortune on something and then the next week it's on offer. It's like mm -hmm. so look look in the bargain buckets first. Okay, so we only need. A little bit so I'm just going to pop a little bit on my on my lid here so we're not going to need very much okay so those of you who know what dry brushing is go ahead you know exactly what you're doing those of you who don't I'm going to uh, I'm going to explain so when you dry brush something you literally have a dry ish brush <laughs> not completely dry but um but not you know not wet not saturated in the paint and we're only going to use tiny tiny little bit and you'll see why let me pop my glasses on okay so what i always do with my brushes is um i i dampen them first so this is this is damp it's not wet it is literally just damp if i sort of go on this tissue you know hardly any moisture has come off at all because it is only damp not you know it's not wet so dampen your brush just a tiny little bit this this helps the brush um, stay nice it's easier to clean it um, if you dampen your brushes first okay so the actual dry brush painting bit is can you see that okay so I've got a little bit of paint on here and now I'm just going to put the tiniest bit on my paintbrush okay just can you see that tiniest little bit just on the edge there and then I'm going to wipe it off can you see let me move things over here and then that tiny little bit I am then going to wipe off and you might think well that's a waste <laughs> but there is still a tiny bit and this is how we dry brush there's this teeny teeny tiny bit of 
paint on there and the brush is almost dry okay so if you're a bit nervous of this start in a start in a corner but you literally very gently you don't you know don't sort of really go for it but very gently we brush over the top of what we've already done so it's it's only picking out the it's only picking out the top bits the the very top of the 3d effect so just remember every time you, you go back for some more paint wipe it off on a tissue and just go very very lightly extremely lightly like you're feathering it just very gently all the way around and this should pick out all the the raised um, texture bits that we made with the with the tissue when we um, when we stuck it down and make sure not to miss anything but it doesn't have to be exact okay, let's get a little bit tufty on his ears there and quite literally that is it now you can put more of the colour on if you wanted more but really that just that tiny little bit of dry brushing just makes the design stand out against the background and shows the, the texture really well so So I really like that. I think that's really cute. I think the um, I think the colours work well together. So and I think it's going to look nice in my frame. So we're just going to leave that to dry. That will literally take seconds to dry because it's it is only um, a dry brush and very very lightly. So I'm going to get my my recti frame that I I painted up with just some some gold and some um, bronze paint that I had it's just a, a cheap plastic frame and I just you know I just painted that up and literally because you don't need the glass back in you literally just pop your picture back into your frame what I'm going to do with this is because it was so damaged I'm going to tape it up with parcel tape before I put it on my wall but this is your finished effect let me just let me just tip the camera up a bit there we go this is the finished effect and there we have your 3d cat All ready to go on your wall or on my wall <laughs> so I really hope that you liked this tutorial if you did give me a thumbs up if you're on YouTube subscribe so you don't miss any more craft tips and um, join me again take care guys bye